were both firmly planted in their own worlds and occasionally Brian would pop into Potter's Bar where he would be served by Sam who worked there. Touching on the past, their paths didn't cross until two incredibly unfortunate events which were life changing. After 18 months of heartache and pain, Sam reached out to Brian on Facebook with a friend's request. Sharing similar awful experiences, it made sense to accept the request and they started messaging each other back and forth. Two to three weeks of chatting created a safe space in which they could explore their new friendship. Feeling comfortable in each other's company, Brian invited Sam for a wee movie night. They consumed a few libations and incredibly ended up joining Sam's friends who were all out drinking and dancing in fiddlers. Brian knew he'd met someone really special and felt incredibly lucky to have her in his life. He could also see a long-term future. Sam was much more circumspect and fearful, but eventually she also realised that they had a future together. Thankfully, Brian was patient and determined to pick the right time and moment, which he did in the tasty steakhouse Miller and Carter and asked him if he could slip the engagement ring into a glass of champagne. The glass was placed in front of her and of course, she had no idea what was about to unfold. Brian sat there anxiously watching Sam nurse her way through this glass of champagne. He remarked, it felt like hours. Customers <music> took that last wee sip and there was the ring glistening in the remnants of her fizz. She then fixed her eyes on Brian, who was down on one knee, and proposed. She was delighted. Mansions to the sky Protect my heart so it would survive But you climbed in like no one else could do The day I knew I needed you I was drifting out safe from me
make sense I was slowly breaking But you knew how to mend We're searching for